So let's say I have a file called something, right? And I want to check if the file is actually a .png file or something, right? Uh, .jpg, an image file, right? Um, how do I do that? Well, in Bash, you can do something like if, right? Um, I think it's this. I I kind of forgot if whether it's this or that. <laughs> Maybe it's this because it's like that in Perl. But PNG, and if uh, it returns true, it's gonna echo true, right? I forgot the dot. <laughs> okay, so it's true, right? And if I have like, it's. it's if I have like non dot png, it's gonna echo false. But that's a that's a bashism, right? Uh, if you want to make it uh, portable to, if you want to use it in a bin.sh, you can't do that. So how how do we do that in bin.sh? Well, let's actually make um, file here. So in bin.sh. Well, obviously, well, <laughs> you can use uh, grep, right? Because grep supports regular expressions, obviously. So you can do something like echo or hello dot png grep, and then put a regular expression you're looking for, right? So dot png echo true right or I guess you know it grabs that if it finds it and, and not right and you know if you you want if you don't really want to um, echo or you know print the thing found you can just use grab Q right or you know r redirect it to dev null or something right so that works but uh, that's not really you know, that's kind of unnecessary a bit, right? There's a more built-in way to do that. Uh, although it's not as, it's not actually regex, I think. It's like a wildcard. It's a different thing. Which is to say, it isn't as uh, complete, I guess, as a regex. But you can do something like uh, make a switch. And then you can say dot png and dot jpeg, right? And then if uh, doesn't match either, you can just you know exit one and like I guess um, echo uh, not uh, an image file or something, right? But you you, you can't do like complex things like uh, I don't know like this and you know, and you know I don't know I'll num or something right because it's not actually but it doesn't actually support uh, regex it's uh, it's like a different thing right it just supports uh, the uh, asterisk and like I think a question mark word but again it's actually built in to the shell itself so it's like a in the shell executable there's actually a function for that or you know it doesn't actually call another uh, C executable like rep right but if you if you want to actually regex match there's another thing you can use expert so let's look at expert right so uh, this is the syntax so and I'm pretty sure this is also uh, portable. So uh, you can do string, uh, colon, and then the regex expression, or <laughs> regular expression, or match string regexp. Right, same thing, but uh, I don't know. The syntax may differ, but you know. So you can do something like, uh, you know, let's say this is a variable, right, and then uh, dot png 
and it, it's gonna print apparently the uh, number of matched uh, characters right so this is gonna echo true and if I have like it's it's not it's gonna like echo f uh, not echo true right? and you know again if you don't want the print uh, you can do dev null redirect it to dev null right so yeah uh, those are the the ways to uh, use kind of a regex in the shell expert if we uh, check here it is not a built-in function so that's one of the downsides but it is probably faster than grab because grab is kind of a complicated program right whereas expert this is what it's actually made for it's for uh, checking uh, it's for string matching or something right